hot. With a suited ace queen, he raises to a million twenty-five thousand. Action folds back now to Phillips. Phillips with ace king. A raise. Is going to re-raise the two biggest stacks, bumping heads pre-flop. Phillips with the best hand here pre-flop, ace king. Will make it three and a half million to play. Now the action back to Demidoff, who used to be a pro gamer. Traveled to big tournaments over long hours they would play in huge fields. Good preparation for the main event. Raise. And he announces re-raise. Doyle Brunson once claimed he doesn't play ace-queen. This is why. Demidoff makes it more than $8 million to play. A huge hand developing, putting everyone on edge, including Yvonne supporters. Demidoff is dominated, and he has four bet this baby. Phillips needs almost $5 million to call. I call. And he does call. His girlfriend likes what she sees. Demidoff's fans don't seem so sure. So here we go to the flop. A huge hand between the two top chip stacks. The flop 8-10 jack, both with a straight draw to the ace. Dennis still leads with that king kicker. Demidoff has a double belly buster straight draw. Phillips, first to act. And raise. Well, he'll be betting. There's been no action yet. Maybe some nerves showing from the amateur in this big pot. Phillips will bet four and a half million. Those chips are showing no nerves. Phillips leads out with a gut shot straight draw. So now the action and the pressure back to Demidoff. Family. Wow, Demidoff will push. And this would be for all of Dennis Phillips' chips. Demidoff saying to Dennis Phillips, did you come this far and wait this long to go out this early? What a tough decision for Dennis. Demidoff had raised twice pre-flop. He could have a huge hand already, and Dennis would be drawing all but dead. I fool. And Phillips will not risk it. He gets out of the way. Demidoff takes that big pot. The biggest pot of this main event. Demidoff cements his chip lead. And on the other side of the coin, Dennis Phillips is now one of the short stacks. It's as if an 18-wheeler has flattened Dennis Phillips in seat one. And flattened the spirit of all of Phillips' supporters here. So the former chip leader, Dennis Phillips, with a catastrophic start to this championship table. The 2008 World Series of Poker, presented by Milwaukee's Best Lights, main event, final table. Back at the Rio, into a theater that sounds more like Teller than Penn as the Dennis Phillips crowd has been silenced after two devastating hands. Phillips might want to sue his coaches for malpractice. First, Alon Schwartz took a chunk from him, and then Ivan Demidoff took an even bigger chunk. Of course, Dennis Phillips, known for his lucky Cardinals hat, at this final table, he has another good luck charm that he now needs more than ever. A friend of mine called me in, and he said... Uh, got a coin I'd like you to put in your pocket while you're out there if you would. He had a neighbor growing up that was almost like a second father, I guess. He came up to him after he got drafted and was getting ready to go to Vietnam, and he handed him a coin and he said, put this in your pocket. I carried this all through World War II. Every time I'd get in a scrape, every time I'd have a problem, I'd just reach my hand in there and rub it. Um, he took it to Vietnam. He had it there for the whole tour of duty, and he's rubbed the heck out of this coin. You can't hardly read the coin anymore. It hadn't seen the light of day for a long time. He pulled it out to give it to me. This is something that meant an awful lot to him, and he shared it with me. I mean, my gosh, this coin's been all over the world. Um, it helped get, make, get one guy through World War II. It helped get another guy through the Vietnam War. And uh, he asked if I would carry it with me. And if you're darn right, I'll carry it with me. Dennis's friend was moved to share the coin after Dennis visited wounded soldiers at Walter Reed Hospital in October. Still nine players left, $32 million in prize money still up for grabs at this championship table. Chip leader Ivan Demidoff looks down at ace king of diamonds. Demidoff almost didn't play in the main event. He was on a downswing, just one cash this World Series. Now he's on quite an upswing. A raise to 775. 775. Eastgate folds. Dennis Phillips running tough right now, gets out of the way. Action folds around to Elon Schwartz. 
with King 10 of clubs. He also was having a bad World Series. He only cashed one time in 15 events. Schwartz in the big blind says he prepared for this final table with tons of yoga and a little extra therapy. <laughs> he makes the call. I know about the therapy. Now the flop heads up. Deuce King 10. Schwartz with Kings up. Demidoff hit top pair. And Demidoff with top pair, top kicker. A dangerous flop for him. He's behind. Elon first to act. With Kings up, that's just a little more than one million. In my neighborhood, we always say, don't mess with Russians, don't mess with New Yorkers. <laughs> it's a tough matchup. Demidoff now. With the top pair, top kicker makes the call. But he's second best. Turn card now. Tray of diamonds. Demidoff now with a nut flush draw. Schwartz used to uh, hustle chess outdoors. So if there are any adverse weather conditions here at the Rio, he becomes a real big favorite. <laughs> Schwartz continues his aggression. Bets almost two and a half million chips with kings up. Demidoff might want to push here with his pair of kings and a diamond draw. I call. Just with the call, though. It's often pretty aggressive in that spot. I'm surprised. If he heads up, Demidoff needing to catch up on the river. River card six of hearts. Schwartz earns the check mark with kings up. He's first to act. Schwartz checks. Well, he might be scared of the third heart coming out there. It's possible Demidoff made a flush. Demidoff with top pair, top kicker, will bet $3.7 million. I think it's a value bet here by Demidoff. He's got to believe he has the best hand. $3.7 million. Yeah, call. call. And with little hesitation, Schwartz will make the call and win that pot with kings up. Almost 17 million chips to Elon Schwartz. Elon Schwartz showing his chops here early at this main event final table. Schwartz is the one running hot. He started in fifth place. He's now the chip leader. Go, Elon. That's crazy. I wish I had some ladies cheering for me. I hear you, Scott. Usually the girls jeer me. Elon's got the ladies, and he's got the chips. As we see on the E-Trade financial chip count, Schwartz with $40 million, almost 30% of the chips in play. In 2006, Jamie Gold started the final table with 29% of the chips and went wire to wire. In 2004, Greg Raymer started with 32%, and he swept the table away. So we have a new leader, but the same short stack, Kelly Kim, under a million chips. What do you got left, 500, Kelly? Um, no. Kelly Kim's like the smallest lobster in the lobster tank, and he hopes nobody notices him. <laughs> Not against me. Montgomery folds. Sue Harto gets out of the way over to Chino Reem, the pick of a lot of top pros. Chino folds. Ivan Demidoff looks down at King 10, off suit. In the small blind. And he will raise. And that's enough to put Kelly Kim all in. Kelly Kim in the big blind. Kim is going to go all in blind. He's at risk. Oh, King! And he's got pocket kings! <laughs> His girlfriend Jocelyn Tinio loves that. Kelly Kim has been the short stack for 117 days. That's a long time to walk around as the weakling. And Kelly acknowledging his fans up in the rafters of his packed theater. How sick is that? I have big up two kings. He said beforehand he was hoping to get all in in just a 60-40 situation. This is a lot better than that. Yeah. Well, the only one here that nobody has picked to win is Kelly Kim. He began the day with just 2% of the chips. So Kim at risk, but he's way ahead against Demidoff's King 10. Now the flop, Kelly Kim still ahead. And Kelly in great shape now. Demidoff would need run or run or something to knock him out. Kelly, I had 10-7 off. I'm worried about the 8 and the 9, man. I'm telling you, though, I mean... 8 and a 9 would give Demidoff a straight. All right, turn card now. It is a 9, and Demidoff does pick up the straight draw. 